of pure athleticism, speed, balance, amazing martial arts skills, and you think of action hero, a real living action hero, Jason Statham is really epitomized, and that's why he's moved up to the top worldwide. People are just so excited to see him in movies. And the other part about him is not only a global superstar, but he's just a super down-to-earth guy. And he's just such a good, nice person. And a giving person and takes the time also to mentor and to teach. And that was, that's what really makes him a true superstar because it's not just our own skills, but how we share those skills. He was born in England. He became a member of the British National Diving Team. He was one of the top divers in the world, eventually reaching the 12th in the world level. But what's very exciting is to see his career as a movie star and what he is able to do, because this guy does his own stunts. And you, cannot, you, you see it, but you can't believe what you're seeing. Because this leg is going this way, that leg is going in, 12 guys are getting knocked down, and they're really getting knocked down. The Expendables series, which Governor Arnold did as well, and Randy Couture. The Fast and Furious series, Crank series, which uh, I like those movies. The Italian Job, Parker, The Bank Job, Death Race, The Mechanic. He's got Mechanic 2 being put in the cooker now. Blitz, Killer Elite, Heat, Homefront. Expendables 3 is out this uh, coming summer. So you have somebody who's not only a superstar in his Hollywood career, and he's super athlete, but also a super amazing guy. Jason Statham, let's hear it for Jason. <laughs> and if I, could, if I could get the other two Expendables on stage here, Randy <laughs> and Governor, you got three Expendables here right on stage. Talk about something to show your grandkids, huh? <laughs> you put this on your back. I think there's a good sized metal for you. Is it mine the hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Thank you, Dr. Bob, uh, for this amazing award. Uh, it really is something special. Uh, I'd just like to pay a big respect to uh, the Weeder family and Arnold in particular. Frank Carr and Lee Haney, because when I was a kid, you know, before I got involved in competitive sport, um, I, you know, I used to buy these magazines, I said, sort of, if I could only look like that, and so I looked at Arnold, I went out and bought the weights, and, uh, you know, my dad had made a weight bench at school, so I used the old weight bench. The trouble is, I bought the wrong size weights, yes, Arnold, I mean, you should have got the bigger ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the problem, but what I'm trying to say is, I mean, I got inspired by these great sort of people, these heroes of mine, and I think that got me into sport, and that really sort of paved the way for me to, you know, to get into movies and all the other stuff. And I think everybody here today, these are great inspirations to, uh, to you know, to athletes and to champions and just the kids in the street. And I think there's something really special there. So nice to be on stage and be a part of that great family. Uh, thanks again, Dr.